Well, hey there, welcome to the backyard. I'm Greg, and today in the backyard, we are talking about draw weight. Check it out. All right, so today I got four bows here. I have a 35, a 45, a 55, and a 65 pound bow. I have three identical arrows there, all weighing in at exactly 484 grains. We're gonna put them through the chronograph. Uh, we will put all three for each bow through the chronograph. We'll get an average speed, then we'll do a little bit of math. We'll see what that means for kinetic energy. Check it out. All right, starting off with the 35 pound draw. Let's see what we get for some speed. 24 123 125 all right stepping up to the 45 pound draw weight 131 36 141 moving up to the 55 pound 145 148 145 and then finally the 65 pound 157 158 163 so there you go, four bows, four draw weights. What does it all mean? Let's go to the workbench and figure it out. All right, so we have our average speed for all four bows. We have our aerokinetic energy calculator that you can find anywhere online. So for our 35 pound bow, we had an average speed of 124 feet per second. We had an arrow weight of 484 grains, giving us 16.51 foot pounds of kinetic energy. For the 45 pound bow, we had an average speed of 136 feet per second and a 484 grain arrow giving us 19.86 foot pounds of kinetic energy. For the 55 pound bow, we had an average speed of 146 feet per second giving us 22.89 foot pounds of kinetic energy. And finally, for the 55 pound bow, we had an average speed of 159 feet per second, giving us 27.14 foot pounds of kinetic energy. All right, so we're here at the workbench. This is where we take the information that we have and we figure out what does it mean? So clearly draw weight has an impact on arrow speed and arrow speed has a direct impact on power. Uh, with the 35 pound bow, we were getting 16.5 foot pounds of kinetic energy. And by the time we got up to the 65 pound bow, we were getting 27.1 pounds of kinetic energy. So clearly the more weight you draw, the more speed, the more power you're going to get. It's the same thing for us as followers of Jesus. James 4.8 says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. The more we draw near, the closer we draw to God, the more spiritual power we will get. What will that mean for you? What will it look like for you in the coming days to draw near to God? What will you need to do? What will you need to change? You work on that. Until next time, you keep aiming for whatever it is God has called you to do and to be.